Hey guys, I want to thank y'all for just kind of joining me today. This is a on the whims ordeal. It's been a busy week and I haven't had a chance to really get any type of thought for a video out since I'm working on a kit that I'm painting and I'm going to have a video up of that up hopefully next week for y'all. But I did put a poll on Twitter and y'all actually want to see a little bit of my room, my work area and all that stuff and some of my kits that I've built over the, well I guess about a year and a half I've been doing Gunpla so I'll give y'all a quick tour. Nothing flashy. A lot of my stuff's kind of ghetto. Built it a lot of it myself. So at least give you some ideas of what y'all might want to do for y'all setups. Since I do YouTube and modeling everything, I kind of have everything set up. It's still a little bit of work in progress, but I'm kind of getting everything worked out where it works well with my flow, trying to get everything straight and make everything just go a lot easier from snapping together to modding, painting, and then of course to editing. So I'll show you around. We'll kind of go counterclockwise around the room. So let me flip my camera uh, screen around here and we'll get started. Let's start off with here. We got the wall down through here. I mean, sorry, this is going to be my first vlog, so this might be horrible. And if you get motion sick easily, you may want to just listen. But here's some of my kits I've got built here. Right here we have the 1100, it's a no grade, a 1100 Legend Gundam. I found this on eBay and I first seen it and I thought it was just awesome. Simple, cool design. It's, I guess, I'm not sure, forgive me, I'm not that knowledgeable on Gundam exactly just yet. So, I'm still watching and learning all that. I got into this originally for the models, because actually right here above it is my high grade Exia. And this is literally the first kit I ever put together. It's not painted or anything, it is panel line, but this is the first kit I ever got. Bought him on a whim, just hunting through Amazon one day. Thought it looked interesting, so I bought it, and since then, it has become an obsession. And now, now stand, stay. Sit, Ubu, sit. There we go. Uh, now, of course, we got the big Nagina there. At the Force Impulse. Oh, and this is one kid I was actually... Didn't think I'd enjoy. I bought it for the fun of it. The V2. I actually got this just for a whim. It's like 10 bucks. And I got it. And it's actually... These are pretty awesome kits. I haven't got the, there's several of them now actually, the Mars 4 and the Earth 3 and all of them. But I haven't got any of those yet, but I was surprised, I was pleasantly surprised with that. And ah, this is one of my favorites right here. This is Chris Miniaturite, you should find him on uh, YouTube and on Twitter and follow him. But uh, his first build off he had was between three different kits, a guard frame, a Leo MPD, and the Jim Jim. Well, I decided to do a kit bash, and this is the first kit bash I ever did. So I have the basis is the Jim Jim, and then I used parts from the Leo and everything and built him up. But yeah, that's my first kit bash. I love that thing. It's pretty cool. And of course, you have the Astaroth. And a little oddball here in the group the Mazinger Infinity, I believe. Pretty neat little kit. Got a hell of a coating on it. And of course, size of B. Can't go wrong with that. High grade. See, I also got the Phantom Zaku up here. 1 100, that's a no grade as well. And this fingerprint magnet from hell. Done this one here recently, and it's interesting, but it's not quite my bag. At least, this is my first gold plated kit, so I can't judge too harshly. I'll probably I'll pick up some more than one of these days, but eh, not the greatest experience. And then some pops from my one of my favorite movies. If you have not seen Tombstone, there's something wrong with you. And I got the Sheldon Pop. I can't remember. I think my wife got that for me, actually, because my family makes fun of me and calls me Sheldon. And who doesn't love Star Trek? And actually, these Robotech books over here were my dad's when he was a kid. And he gave them to me. So that's the full original collection all right there. And then that's my late dog's collar right there, Tippy. Miss that dog's one of the best dogs I've ever had. And then this is my first Master Grade ever. The Strike Freedom. I will eventually paint him, but yes, I love that. That was my first Master Grade. Then some random. Oh, this is actually one of my dad's toys when he was a kid. You can see it's been seen better days, but it has one of his actual toys when he was a child, and now I got it. And then of course the Lego Batman and everything. But over to more important stuff here. No, oh, wrong way. 
this is my paint station. Very simple. Just a, I think a five dollar tub tote or whatever I got at Target. Got my airbrush there, and it's just uh, three fans that I had in my garage that I wired up. They have a switch on the back. I don't know if you can see it. Oh crap, that's a light. Just a switch back here to flip them on. The hose, of course. Run that out the window there. Oh, light adjust. Light adjust. Oh, you're going to be paying the butt, huh? Still learning my camera here a bit. And then I got my airbrush, which is just a Iwata Neo. My first actual airbrush, I'm not, I can't judge it or anything, but so far it's done me wonders. And you see I'm getting some paints together and everything, so I'm getting ready to paint the turn A I got right there. So, he's all in parts in that tub there, separated. And then of course just got some paint stuff down here, and that's my air compressor down there. But nothing fancy about any of this setup. Cheap little deal, oh. See? My little stress reliever when painting is stressing me out. He's always watching. Always watching. Oh, he just fell off. Nah, anyways, I'll put the back on there later. Stay. Now, here's... Oh, back out a bit. My backlog, is, of course. Those right down right there are some that I'm working on. It's a resin kit and everything. And I will be doing a video on that as soon as I can. I just haven't had the time. Like, I want a full day to actually do some work on that. Because I have to heat up some of the parts and... Uh, that scene and work them back into shape so I just haven't had a chance to really have some time to sit down with that that's all kits that are done that need to be kind of consolidated oh for some of y'all what I do because we run out of space pretty quick so I always take the box art and cut it off the top I have the box art for every one of my kits I've built and then all the parts extra runners and the manuals and everything I put in a gallon size Ziploc bag and all the other stall and other kits are downstairs in the basement. I have them all placed down there. But that way I can always go back, find the manual, find any spare parts like any accessories, you know. Like I've got the spare pods in there, missile pods. His gun's in there right now and everything. So I need to put that with the rest of the stuff, but I always have it there. Then of course, just a simple shelf. Got all my paints and everything here. Brushes, some glues and everything, panel lining stuff. Pretty simple. On around my random blue chair and oh my squishy my wife got this for me. Uh this thing is actually awesome. Such a comfortable little pillow, great for traveling. And I mean come on, it's a Norwal. Norwal wells are awesome. If you notice looking around my room, things are rather random. And oh I am needing to drink anyways right now. But this here is my workbench. This is where y'all see all the live streams and everything. Of course, it's a, it's a typical lamp. I use the bright white LEDs. Got uh, helping hands back there, which come in quite handy. I used to use those to do some uh, LED work on the kit I'm about to paint. A uh, simple little vise that I uh, 3D printed, which helps when I'm doing the seam lines. I'll glue them up, clamp them in that nice and snug. Of course, I have all my tools laid out and everything. The manual for the turn A that I'm getting ready to paint. And my notebooks, they have a lot of junk. And this is actually the first TV that me and my wife had when we moved out here five years ago. A little 19 inch. But now I use it, I hook it up to the computer. And that's where I can see my OBS when I'm streaming and my chat. Because the computer is way over here. So yeah, it's kind of a pain to be sitting here facing this way and looking at chat over here. But as we get up here, of course... Who doesn't like Legos? Best toys a kid could ever grow up with. And a couple more pops from some of my other favorite movies. Starship Troopers and Dune. Now oh, this is one of my favorite painted kits. This one took me some time, but it is just the 1-100 full mechanics here. And let me kind of hold them where y'all can actually see. But fully painted. Even all the piping, the pistons and everything. It's nothing like the master grade, but I did put a lot of work into this guy. Every little thing painted on him. But I'm not going to try and set him back on the shelf at the moment. I'll just set him there for the moment. <laughs> and then of course I do have my master grade Barbatos, which I think I finally decided I'm going to do him kind of a desert color scheme. Something along those lines. I got some uh, 
sandy dirt or sandy uh, colored paints, a few different shades. Focus. Oh, maybe it's focusing on my hand is why. Sorry about that. And then I have some dark uh, copper paint that I'm going to use on some of his parts as well, which I think will look really good in the end. I don't know if any of y'all watched the live stream on this guy, the full saber quant. This guy drove me insane. Awesome looking build. Once you get down, it looks great. His arm's a little weak though. That sword keeps wanting to fall down over time. Then of course, my one of my recent streams, the Master Grade Curios. That is an awesome kit. If you do not have that kit yet, you need to get it. I am looking to hopefully here soon get the Dynamis to go along with them because that is a great kit. Oh, and this here, I need some better lighting. I need to put lighting up in the lip of this shelving. I just haven't got around to it yet. But this is my first painted kit ever. Master Grade Wing Custom. And I got the Verkal that's coming out here soon on pre-order because I've been wanting to, since this is my first painted kit and I've come a long ways because you probably did see a difference. I mean, that's just a little high grade revive of the RX-78, but you can kind of see the difference in it a bit, but I want to paint the Verkal when it comes just to kind of see how my progress is coming, what I can do different. And of course my other RX-78, it's got the Master Grade Origin, and that's the new one that came out, the uh, Beyond Global, which is a pretty neat kit too. It has some different design aspects that may not meet your flavor or whatever, but pretty awesome kit. I have a review on that, you should check it out, and a live build if you're curious, to waste some time or something. And of course you got the iconic Moon Gundam. I'd need to paint him real bad too, but I can't quite decide exactly how I want to go about the Crescent Moon. But I did pick up some nice uh, chrome silver uh, enameled I'm going to thin down and use for a panel line on that uh, moon, the crescent moon part, which I think is going to look really good on that red section. I got some iridescent red that I'm probably going to use on that as well. Oh, one of my favorite kits too. Yeah, it's just a high grade, but it's just the Kshatriya is a very iconic, you know, mobile suit, especially you know, if you enjoy unicorn. Then of course I got the typical high grade unicorn there. I need to probably pick up a real grade of him and a master grade eventually. But haven't got around to that yet. And of course this is just my workstation here. Typical headphones, my mic here. It's mounted to the workbench as well because when I'm streaming I can swing it one way. If I'm doing any work over here, voiceovers, I can swing it over here to the computer desk. Got my stream cam there, headphones, RGB crap my computer. I've rebuilt this thing a few times but I love my computer. And then of course a simple, not exactly simple, but it's a three monitor setup. And the only thing that really cost any money here is I paid good money for the uh, my center monitor which is my gaming one, 144 hertz and all that good crap. But this monitor and that one there I actually picked up at our local thrift store for 10 bucks for both of them. So yeah. If you're doing stuff like this, you ain't got to have some big, flashy, huge wraparound crap and all like that. Nice, simple design like this is, works out very well. And, let's see here, you can kind of get a pan of my whole room here. Let me back out all the way. That's all the way. And now I've lost complete... Fo oh, that light's getting in the way. I may turn that down. That's better. Sorry about that. But, nice, simple design. I've painted my room here recently. But still trying to work on getting everything set up, get my workflow set up better for myself, just make things a lot simpler. My room's nothing fancy, kind of a hodgepodge of everything. And now our plants live in my room because our cat likes to eat them. I don't know if I can save them or not. <laughs> and my 3D printer, that does not have any space in here for that. So I'm actually going to run a cable through the wall behind the computer because I need to run the internet because the router and modem's on the other side of that wall and I'm going to put the printer on that room over there plus because when it's running it gets kind of loud and it's really annoying oh and give you all a little sneak peek I have a habit of the fact that when it comes to painting a kit I like to build them and then I set them on the shelf until I decide how I want to paint it well now that I'm doing the YouTube channel it kind of can't take that much time to do stuff like that stay focused so now I've decided I'm going to start putting the next kit I'm going to paint as my wallpaper. So now I can stare at it, kind of get ideas, until I actually build it, because I have that kit right there. So when I get done with the turn A, I'll be starting on working on that, and that one will have a full 
custom color and everything. The turn A is going to be its original colors, but that's going to be all custom colors. All right, back to my gorgeous face. Now, I appreciate y'all joining me for this video, and I also, while well, I kind of got you here, just kind of go over what I kind of want my channel to be. It's just starting out, so everything's all kind of new. I am going to do reviews, live streams, and things like that, but I'm not going to do reviews over every kit. Interesting ones, ones that I don't see any good reviews or very many reviews of out there. And also just a, you know, kits I find interesting, I guess, or whatever. But I want to kind of, everybody to learn as I learn, because I'm still pretty new to this. I've only been in it for about a year, year and a half. Really just now get into the painting of kits and definitely describing panel lines and everything. That's something that I'm practicing and working on, which I will have a video of that eventually. Been doing some work on the uh, high grade uh, high gog. That's the one I've been working on. And uh, so it's just going to be, I want everybody to kind of learn as I learn, practice things as I practice. Hopefully you learn from my stupid mistakes so you don't do the same thing. And you know, maybe you'll be better at it than I am. God, I hope so. But I don't think you guys are joining me. Uh, hopefully you'll end up liking my content. Like I said, the channel is starting out, kind of finding its feet and trying to get a, a rhythm going down for everything. So if y'all like it so far and you just want to see how things go, either it could be an awesome, great thing or it could be an awesome train wreck to watch either way. But <laughs> yeah, y'all, if y'all want to learn with me on building kits and practicing different things and trying new tricks, Feel free to hit the subscribe button, give this video a like if you like, and you can also follow me on Twitter for any updates on videos coming up and just whatever might be going on around in my life here and there is under KyleTune1, and you can find me on there, and well, I guess that's about it, guys. Fairly quick video, we got a lot going on, and hopefully sometime next week I'll have that turn A kit out for you, but y'all take it easy, guys. Have a good night.